Hello, my name is Malikar. Nice to meet John. Welcome back to uh, Chapter Three, City, Chapter Three, City. And well, what have what we have seen is that the chapter somebody special will appear. So first chapter. Okay, second chapter. Okay, first chapter. Nobody. No wait. Okay. I just want Fee to come back, so I can use her as craft, or somebody from the desert. Who could be? I have no idea. Right, understood. Fine with me. Welcome to Tharbat. I'll be sure to look after your truck while it's parked here. We have a train station, but ever since cars got popular in the Central East, a good number of visitors choose to come by those. As a result, there are more parking lots around here than even just a couple years ago. But more cars means more work. Oh well, we coordinate with the local police, so all can rest assured that your truck is in safe hands here. Oops, guess that's wrong. Okay, sorry. Dude, what? Ah, uh, hey, then why? I was like, don't look at my car, and then I'm like, okay, never mind. That big ass building must be the place. Well, where's your next? It's called the Aljamera Hotel, and yes, we'll be meeting there later. <laughs> I can't wait to see it up close. Well, you'll have to wait a little longer. Let's keep moving. It's been a long time since I have been in Thar, but business is currently booming out here these days. Normally I do business over in Elsheim, this time of year, but when I hear there was going to be a film festival, I could not come. Now who wants some kebab, huh? Don't be shy, what's a good festival without some even better eats to go with it, that's what I say. So... Me, uh, the, 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 me. Okay, no, 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 me. Ah, uh, here. Okay. Thank you. Okay, bye. And bye. Oh my God. Okay. Oh. Hell yeah! I like this place already. All this hustle and bustle, my kind of sand. Tharbat famous for its bazaar. The last time I came here, I remember there being traditional music and dancing and stuff. Oh, that sounds fun. I love to see some of that. Hey, I recognize those things. Don't smoke stuff out of them. That's right, I he I've heard about them before. They're hokah, traditional devices that come from the central east. Right, can't say I'm into smoking, but all this talk about devices has been keen on trying some of the bows around here now. Save the sign team for later, folks. We got an in we need to check into first. It should be just past that sign over there. Oh, hey. Uh -huh. Come on, Sara. We've got to get going. Okay, okay. Right behind you. Hmm. Fairy, it's so good to see you. How you been? I've been doing great. Nice to see you too, Miss Hala. Oh, I see. This must be where. Yeah, this is where me and the rest of the crew got stay before it's need to see it again. Ha, <laughs> fate has a way of bringing people together like that. Anyway, welcome to Tharbat, everyone. Two rooms, right? I'll show you where you will be staying. Following. Glad to hear it. After you. Ah, 
I see, so you are living and studying in Edith these days, are you? I'm impressed you have grown so much in just a year. Oh, it's not a big deal, really. I will. I still have a lot to learn. I always have to ask Agnes to explain stuff to me. I feel so bad for her. Heh, <laughs> please, it's fine. I enjoy teaching her things. Our fair is a quick study. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I can't wait to see what the future holds for her. So you are the boss, right? Make sure do you your job too and look after her. Well, got it. Uh, <clears throat> well, somebody thinks pretty highly of you. <laughs> yeah, she's always been really nice to me. This will make for a pretty solid crash pad. Rooms are clean and the food seems decent. Guess it's time to get to work now. And <laughs> that's it. Dingo say he's done getting us some 4CGs ready too. Let's take our time resolving whichever ones catch our eye and head to the Al Jumirah Hotel in Entertainment District by noon. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Great, then off to work we go. So, where's the nearest bulletin board? I think there's one in the bazaar. Coming to this inn always relaxes me. The proprietaries and I are fr pretty friendly, so she understands what I always like and need. Plus, it's easy to park your camels outside, stuff like that is what makes old inns a godsend to traders like me. Once I give Hala my little gift from home I bought with me, it will be time to start talking business. With all the places still lacking paved roads, even these days, there continue to be a place for traders like me who go around on camel. Those orbal hukah I've been seeing must be really new, I didn't see anything like them when I was in the city just last month. I may have to get one and try it out. They look like something you could smoke even while on camelback, not just when you need a break. Hey, I remember you. You were those jiggers that stayed with us last year, weren't you? Looks like you have been doing well. I remember you really enjoy our kofta, didn't you? I'll be sure to get some for you while you're here. <laughs> Thanks, Kosh Hot Robe. I can't believe you remember what I like to eat. You really are as good as your mom says. Everybody in my clan was saying you're gonna be an amazing owner once you take over. <laughs> it's no big deal. Your clan is just one of the more distinct guests I've been. So you prefer to come back to me pretty easily. Trust me, I got a long way to go before I be ready to run the inn. Though that hasn't stopped my mother from trying to jump the gun and get things moving. <sighs> things? What kind of things? Oh, it's nothing. You don't need to worry about it. She'll forget about it and move on on soon enough. I hope. My mother has really high hope for me as the future owner of the inn, even if I think I still have a lot to learn before I will be ready. By hearing that everyone in the Kruger appreciates my work does give me a little more confidence. I keep trying to make everyone proud. What the surprise this is, I didn't expect to see you again without the rest of your clan, Fairy. I remember the last time you stayed here. You said you wanted to get out and see more of the war. Have you gotten to do that? Yeah, Vance told me so much. The only problem is, the more I linear, the more I realize just how big Zamora is. That makes me want to see even more of what's out there. Sounds like a good problem to me. Now that you are on this new path, it's only natural to keep wanting to learn more and more. And if I had to guess, the real adventure has only just begun for you. There's a lot more for you to discover out there. If you have time either tonight or later, I'd love to hear all about what you have been so far. Sounds good? Okay, can't wait to talk about it all with you, Miss Halle. 
This inn has always played house to all kinds of folks. It comes with Tharbat sitting near the border. Take the trader over there. He stays with us every month. Ferris clan are consistent regulars too. I lost track of many times they stay with us through last year. Looking is always free, you know. Oh. Come back for more anytime. Well, just a quick break, that's all. Hey! Me and the rhythm. Yeah, the rhythm. Ah. Uh. I know, I know, I know, I can't fight it. I know, I know, you, you won't deny it. I'm gonna stay be, be here and put music on them. Hey, that's right. so cool. Why there is not like a little background music, you know? Is that a cat? I know, a dog. Okay. Okay. As hot as this place gets, it's still really nice. I like it. In fact, the heat makes it feel like I'm visiting a whole other planet. I used to, to not wander far when I left home, but after visiting Krayl and Remiferia, I know really I get a kick out of traveling as far as I can. Oh yeah, I remember hearing that the sand at Michelin Beach was shipped in from... Oh yeah! Maybe if my plans work out, I'll go visit there sometimes next month and soak up some more sun. Alrighty. You won't find this just anywhere. This place has got a totally different vibe from Longport. I like it. Yeah, you can learn a lot about a region by walking around a big city like this. Well, well, well. Can't say I see a group of two. No, I'll have to remember that. The little lady there must be Central Easter too, right? But judging from her apparel from the mountains, am I right? Which means none of you probably have much experience eating camel. If you ask me, I think you should change that. Why not have some of my camel meat? Nobody comes away unsatisfied, and I mean nobody. I specialize in camel meat based dishes here, which are an ordinary part of Central Eastern's cuisine. That may surprise you to hear, since many think of them as beasts or border, but they are eaten pretty regular, as a matter of fact. They are a valuable source of protein, in particular in our corner of Zemuria, where gazing line isn't exactly found over every hill. Hey there, what'll it be? I'm poor. Yeah. Bye. Need some spices, perhaps. Now, what should I get for this week grocery? May a good idea to be a pity sparing on the budge. People think everybody in Tharbat and El Same are rich, but as you can see, most of us are a lot more humble. Not that we are not blessed here in many ways. Circumstances can vary depending on where you go in Central East. This region has its conflicts. It sounds really tragic, just how much Kada has fallen in the wake of its developed and all that. Got an appetite for some central easter fruits of species by any chance? You won't find my goods anywhere else in Kalvar. Western nobles have loved our species for generations, that's the reason trade first took off between our cultures. You should really give them a try. Once you do, you will be wonder how you ever live without them. It looks like my daughter Imani has made friends with a child visiting from out of town. I've had the pleasure of doing some cultural exchange for my business, but to see her do what she, with just a picture book is really special. That's, it's wonderful to see people in Brazil. Did she just say a child right. outside from here with a picture book? Huh. Welcome, have you thought about treating yourself to a hookah 
A nice long hookah session is a tradition pastime in Central East. Not only do they smell nice, but they are wonderful cooling sensation when smoke. Definitely a must in a place that get as hot as Starbath. Lately this portable orbital power hookah have been all the rage in Tarbat. Honestly though, I can say I'm a big fan, they got no class in my book, nothing beats a good old traditional hokwa. When tourists come to me looking for a hokwa, hookah, <laughs> I want them to enjoy something with some real taste to it, do it right, do you know? I offer herbal hookah to those who want them, but otherwise I don't go out of my way to push them on to folks. They just are my style. Whenever I run out of style, we're in a row out of style. You got that drinking face look in your arm. Oh my god. Ah, sorry. I think something must be missing in my practice routine. I don't know if it's enough to catch up to those two. You've seen them, right? The pair of sisters that dance over in front of the oasis. They are so good, I really look up to them. It's my goal to be just like them one day. Oh! Who is here? It's fair to say that Tarba acts as a bridge between the principle of El Same and Kalbar. You can see that in the film festival, the El Same royal family has such high expectation for it, they directly invested in it. As a both a proud master of the same royal swords of fighting style, and a bracer in general, is a genuine honor to watch over this region. You know royal sword fighting? Wait, I know you! You're really famous in the Central East for being the strongest Shermshear fighters. Wow! Guess that means you got quite a reputation back home, huh? You were born in El Same, right? Sounds like you have close ties to this branch of the Gilfo. I do. At first, I work in Ludos, the same capital, but the Calvar branch was kind enough to extend an invitation, and now here am I. I miss home to be sure, but I could pass up this opportunity. It's a huge privilege being stationed in such an important city. It allows me to do, to be of, to uh, both Calvar and El same. I like to believe that it was Arusha's will that brought me here. I've been living in Tarbat for 5 years now. At this point, I think of it as my second home. It's very fulfilling work. I get to help people who come here from all over Zamoria, as well as contributing to Calvar and El Same's good relations. Recently I've been seeing more and more trouble, it is what it is, as a bracer, I just have to keep doing my job, and that's that. You must be the people from Archive Solution, I've heard all about exploring in Edith and Langport from Alvis. He always grumbled about you guys wherever you come up, but the heck did you guys do to give him a fuse like that? You will have to ask him, you're a friend of Alvis though, huh? Guess I can see it, you two look like the same age. We are actually a year apart, but we came up in the guild around the same time. Yeah, we worked together a fair bit when we were juniors bracers. I was the first one to get promoted up to C rank between us, but I think I may not stay ahead much longer. He say he's on the verge of hitting B rank, going to have uh, to hustle if I don't want him to beat me. Sounds like you guys have gotten yourself a nice little rivalry. I know what that's like. I got some folks like that over in my theater. I won't say it's anything that serious, just a little friendly competition, I guess. But I have done my fair share of training while traveling all over the place. I want to make the most of my time while I'm out there. Plus, this city has its problem right now. As a bracer, I can just ignore them. I have to do something to help. Good on you man, for someone who looks pretty laid back on the outside, you actually sound pretty passionate about your job, respect. I think we're gonna get along just fine, you don't sound like the type of guy who will just give us trouble like Alvis. The shade. 
Oh yeah, I forgot that we were supposed to have a B rank bracer coming. It will be a good to have the extra help around, but I can't let myself become depend on it either. Is that V? If you have B or A? God damn, I forget. Maybe they didn't mention. Please be a B. Oh, are you guys from Archive Solution? The ones those four CGPGs are supposed to be for? I've been here a lot of talk about you guys since you came into town. You have, huh? Guess for travels pretty fast in these parts. It does. Also, the main branch told me about you as all as well. So I'm a little familiar with you already. Including what you guys got up to over in Lamport. Apparently, you were even more capable than expected. Well, would you look at that? Sounds like the guild's giving us some props. About time, if you ask me. Yeah, but that also means we now got a reputation to maintain with these people, especially in light of what's going on. Not that we mind taking a lot off the kill, in the first time, but don't expect us to take everything, we still reserve the right to decide. I understand, we appreciate you being so upfront about it. Don't worry, we'll be careful in what we choose to pass on to you. We simply appreciate your ability to handle some of our load, and delegate responsibilities among yourself as needed. As you can imagine, we have more on our plate than simply providing security for the festival and sorting out any tourist problems. Hmm, sounds like the guild could be investigating something on their end too. All the more reason to help them out then. Not only will they own us a favor too, <laughs> we may be able to get some intel out of them. I'm sure you have sensed it yourself, but Tharbat is in somewhat of a peculiar position. More and more issues are cropping up, and while we are not sure why yet, we do know that it's not just because of the film festival. I won't intrude into whatever business has brought you here, but you should be aware that we do have an investigation underway. So if you could bear in mind the complexity of the situation before making any move, we appreciate it. It's cool that I was going to say something, goddamn. Come on, I'm begging you. Ooh. <laughs> I have no idea, but it was like oh begging for a date. Oh, don't be like that, Abdullah. It's nice to see young people going out and enjoying new things. It brings me to my face. Not to mention if we clinch to our ways too much, we as people will have trouble getting along with those out west. Though so those Orbel up hookah can go get bury in a dune. That I'll grant. Young people I swear. They are all in a tizzy over this forksake film festival. Does anyone know self-restraint these days? And it's not just a film festival that's wrong. So that's point in the East Entertainment District. Back in my day with Treasure Water. It's good to see the city is thriving, but everybody seems to have forgotten they all have Arusha to thank for our properties. Hmm. I can, oh my god, yes. Iconic. Oh my god, a white cat. I want a white cat. I want a husky and a white cat. Or I want a white cat and a husky. What should I do? We can't ignore this problem any, any longer. It's getting out of hand. Wonder what is his problem. He keeps mumbling about it, something. It's me. Could be someone who needs our help. Why don't we see if there are any bulletin boards around here? Maybe he posts something already. It's hotter than Gehenna. And then, as the Dijin appears from the lamp, it repeats the first war and leaves. Wow, that's a awesome central Easter fairy tale. Are so neat and cool. I know, right? My grandma and the people from the temple tell me stories with different morals all the time. Do people like to tell any neat weird stories where you're from? I'd love to hear them. Sure, I can tell you about them. But after that, I want to hear more about your fairy tales, okay? Okay, then why don't you be 
visit me the temple. Mother Jamila knows a lot about stuff like that. I'm sure she will be able to tell you lots. I've read a lot of picture books before, but the Central East has so many fairy tales I never heard before. Imani knows a lot about them. I'm gonna ask her, the bishop lady, to tell me some too. I'm so happy Clem likes hearing about Central Easter fairy tales. Most kids who visit the Tarbat don't really care about them. It's so nice to meet someone who does. I'm glad my son's making friends with one of the local kids. Ever since I was sent out here to work, I've been looking for an opportunity to bring my family to a Tharba too. I only plan to take him to the film festival and go sightseeing. It's a perfect stroke of luck that he's found a friend too. Seeing as the film festival is being held too, I decided to take my husband up on his idea and come here with our son on his business trip. I figured it would be nice, but I never anticipated that our son would be hit it off with one of the local children. What a wonderful surprise! I want him to grow up to be a nice and broad-minded, so I'm glad he's getting exposed to other culture while he's still young. No? Okay. Hey people, what? To be fair, I think there's a lot of local people my age that have been drawn in my, all the glitz and glamour of the entertainment district. But deep down, I think a lot of them still value our tradition and culture even if they won't say it out loud. I know that because they all still come down here to the temple on holidays and pray with the elders. That's why I think this place is so important and I'm glad to have it preserving those traditional values so they don't get lost. Welcome everyone, this is a place of a worship for Arusha, the winged goddess. Many tourists these days wander into our temple out of curiosity. I hope your visit today offers some insight into our culture. As a scholar of, of Septian laws, I spare no effort when it comes to speaking knowledge of the testaments to the ba hey, give me that testament. In the harsh desert of Central East, we all help one another, so it's only natural for people to share their ben beliefs in the spirit of tolerance. That spirit matters more than ever as contact with the Western lands increase and our daily li lives here continue to change and evolve. I'm confident that the knowledge and teaching we have come from to embrace here will prove helpful to the Wister, such as young sirs as well. Who is up there? Ah. Welcome to our temple. Truth to be told, we have some rather temperature tourists cross our doors recently. However, I can tell that none of you are here to cause trouble, and I'm more than happy to have you here. Central Easter Temple is meant to be a place of tolerance, which is why we have always opened our doors in the spirit of understanding. Unfortunately, we have recently been seeing so many untruly, unruly tourists here. When things get too out of hand, sadly, I do ask them to leave. Right. Would you all happen to be interested in the Easter East unique folklore? By any chance, it's quite a rich storytelling tradition. I teach those stories to the local children during Sunday school, but I think they have plenty to offer for visitors from other regions. But sadly, not many children from outside of Tharbat show much interest in learning about them, which is a shame. Okay. Getting a feeling if I go here, something will happen. So let's get to the bu bu bulletin thingy. Let's see what we've got. 
forgot one. Wow, a four siege already. Guess Dingo got the war out for us. Good to know. Is there really that much demand for a spring gas service in a town like this though? This is in like Lamport where Hayden calls the shots. The Bracer can operate without anyone else putting the squeeze on them, right? Yeah, actually the Tarbat branch is right over there. There is Bracers around. This is all true, but anywhere you go, there will always be people with more sensitive needs who can use Bracer service easily. Plus, with the field festival almost here, the guilds probably short on hands and can get to everyone who needs them. Alright, then I guess we pick a good time to show up and help those poor folks who otherwise fall through the cracks. Exactly, but remember, we're here on a mission. We can help. But don't lose track of our priorities. All right. Okay, so how it was, and then. Okay, I got something, no? Yeah. What? Why is it difficult for me to remember how do I look stuff? Uh, okay. Okay, guys, so we're gonna let it here before we start questing. Why it's just 30 minutes? Because when I do more than 30 minutes, like an hour or something, then the audio between the camera and the gameplay is kind of like, eh, more no. The audio of the camera is out of sync for some reason, out of nowhere, I started doing that. So when it's less than one hour and something then it's everything okay so yeah so guys thank you so much for watching and see you next one later on i guess if you guys want i don't know I see it flash before my eyes